In this example, we'll learn about the factor theorem. In part A, divide x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 by x minus 1 using synthetic division and state the remainder. Prepare the synthetic division. Bring down the 1. One times negative one equals negative one. Subtract. Negative three minus negative one equals negative two. Negative two times negative one equals two. Subtract. Four minus two equals two. Two times negative one equals negative two. Subtract. Negative two minus negative two equals zero. The quotient is q of x equals x squared minus two x plus two, and the remainder is zero. When p of x is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 0. Now we'll move on to part b. Draw the graph of p of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 using technology. What is the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus 1? Draw the graph using technology. The divisor is x minus 1, so we can get the remainder by plugging positive 1 into the polynomial. Evaluate p at 1 to get a result of 0. The point 1, 0 exists on the graph. The remainder is just the y value of the graph. Now we'll move on to part c. How does the remainder in part a compare with the value of p at 1 in part b? In part a, dividing p of x by x minus 1 using synthetic division gives a remainder of 0. In part b, evaluating p at 1 gives a result of 0. Both synthetic division and the remainder theorem return a result of 0 for the remainder. When dividing polynomials, the 0 of the divisor can be plugged into the polynomial to get the remainder. The zero of the divisor is positive one. Plug positive one into the polynomial. Polynomial division gives us a point on the graph. The x-coordinate is the zero of the divisor, and the y-coordinate is the remainder. In part D, we'll define the factor theorem. If p of x is divided by x minus a, and p at a equals 0, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. In other words, if p of x is divided by x minus a, and the remainder is 0, then the polynomial is evenly divisible by x minus a. For example, 2x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 has a non-zero remainder of negative 4, so x minus 1 is not a factor. In our next example, 
x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 has a remainder of 0, so x minus 1 is a factor. Now express each division in the form p of x over d of x equals q of x plus r over d of x. x minus 1 does not fit evenly into the polynomial. We have a fractional term because of the remainder. x minus 1 does fit evenly into the polynomial. There is no remainder or fractional term. Now we'll move on to part E. Draw a diagram that illustrates the relationship between the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. When we use the remainder theorem, the result can be any real number. If we use the remainder theorem and get a result of zero, the factor theorem gives us one additional piece of information. The divisor fits evenly into the polynomial and is therefore a factor of the polynomial. Put simply, we're always using the remainder theorem, but in the special case of r equals zero we get extra information from the factor theorem.